uh, this is made out of vinyl as you can see I wouldn't want to bend that at all that's made out of styrene I'll show you what happens to a styrene record when you uh, try to do a tiny kangaroo down sport it does that so that's styrene it's quite brittle okay and it goes snap so don't do that with Billy Woods okay this is uh, vinyl and it's a copy okay going to move on to another thing well I showed you that styrene this is vinyl it's robust and you can see the styrene copy the label if I can get in there and show you the label has been stuck on the label on vinyl has been molded on can you see that that's actually molded into the vinyl the paperwork has just a little lip but you cannot your fingernail does not stop because there is no ridge on here your fingernail can you hear that it stops because that's placed on flat this is placed on and molded at the edges okay I'm glad I got this record in my hand today um, because I'm going to show you how to get a sticker off these stickers which were so popular in America this lady came from Waterbury she obviously had great taste in records uh, she bought uh, Tony Clark the entertainer when it came out or when it was uh, came out as a cutout copy very great record okay wonderful classic so how do we remove that uh, you can pick at it but the best way if you'll excuse me is the same method as they use for renovating masterpiece paintings human saliva is one of the best ways for removing stick on labels which have not got goo this is a water based glue at the back and there you go I don't think anybody will buy this record off me afterwards with my uh, saliva all over it but uh, there you go so we leave that on I'll leave that there for a little while let me just show you the crack there's a crack if I just push it from the back you can just see it opening up there you go it's pretty flimsy what we need to do with that crack is stop it from moving now a lot of people well I've seen people glue it from the back if you don't care about the b-side or gluing it from the front here if you don't care about the b-side uh, because it will drop over and also if you don't care about the running because you remember in your stylus has got to hit that at some point so this is the method that I've developed for mending edge cracks so what we'll do we'll just put a bit of super glue on there most important is that you make sure that that is flat between your two fingers just squeeze it goes completely flat and what we do is just sit it that way up and roll it now that should if you hold it there for a few seconds that should have a capillary effect and the super glue will just go up just enough there you go and you look on the edge you can hardly see anything and I think that the super glue has just gone just a little bit into those grooves now that's saved your record it's still very fragile so handle always handle a cracked record with great care taking it in and out of the packet also when you're cleaning it if you're going to have to clean it I should have cleaned this first really before I even considered um, doing it. if I just run my finger along there I can just feel that and that has just gone up there just in, just enough to keep it in place okay there's a cracked record mended what we can do is just go back to this baby just uh, what's it and as if by magic what I will do is test it in the middle with my finger now it's not quite ready but it's getting there so I'm just gonna so I'm just picking it I'm just gonna give it some more good old human being saliva again and again just leave it for a while if you leave it flat the saliva won't run off okay so this one it is an original but you know it's not particularly expensive 
this baby in here is expensive I'm pulling out as you can tell by the uh, love of the packaging and then the protection that's required just very gently take this out and there we have a Shandy Sheldon which unfortunately took some abuse in the mail and cracks are here I think we can find them oh, they're tiny but they're, they're multiple and there's also a V in there so we've got to be careful with that one and we can feel it with our fingers now what I would initially do with this is exactly the same treatment that I gave that but we've actually got to go quite a distance and hopefully the capillary effect will work again now because that's took a real nasty whack I can feel that both sides what I'm going to do is very very gently just lie it down flat pressure here and just I can feel it more on the running so what we're going to do here is the same method I'm just going to give it a little bit of super glue you can do a decent blob because what you're trying to do is get a capillary effect so there needs to be something there to be sucked up into the the hairline cracks I'm going to very very gently you have to handle these things with kid gloves I think if we start there and roll and roll back just keep rolling a few times gently not any pressure just very very gently give it some love what you've got to be very very careful of when you're using this stuff is not to touch the grooves in any way because a bit of super glue in that groove then that's the end of the record because you will not get it out okay I can just feel a nice rough bit there so it has and its effect And you can see there's and you can see there's nothing there for you to even know that it's been super glued. And there's nothing this side either to know it's been super glued. So I'm going to slide that back in the packet. And again, once that's happened. You have to be super careful with it, super careful, otherwise those cracks will get bigger. But at this moment in time, that's sitting in place. Now then, let's have a look at this baby here. These are devils to get off. But I think, look at that, as if by magic, it's probably been on there 50 years. And that baby's coming off, sliding off with without even so much as a... There's no marks there at all. Good old, good old saliva. Just go over that bit again. If you f if you feel a lot of resistance, stop and just give it some more, some more saliva. And here we go. Look. There we go. And I think that's a damn good job. I don't know what you think. I don't know what's happened there, but uh, somebody's, that's certainly not what we've done. Okay, there you go. Look, perfect label. I would suggest using your own saliva. Asking your girlfriend to spit at it is not, is not advisable. And she'll probably think you're mad anyway, putting saliva all over your records. But there you go. That's uh, the before and after. We have another couple of things here. Ooh, 
Now let's have a look at this one because uh, this record here has got a totally different sticker on it. That's a, I think that's a goo back. You can feel that's got goo on it. There is lots and lots of different style of glues that you do. Now, as you can see the finish on this uh, sticker, you can't put spit on it because A, it can't penetrate the shiny finish on the top, but also uh, the glue underneath doesn't react to spit. It's uh, not a water-based glue, it's a So that's, this is going to be a difficult one. This is going to take a little bit of patience. So I'm going to, just like the saliva, I'm going to let that stick in. The, uh, now this is a tricky sticker. So what we do, I use my finger now, which unfortunately has got a little dirty today from work. I'm just, if you can imagine this is a razor blade and you're shaving your face. So what I've done now, back. Okay, we've left that for a little while, and this is Commonwealth Garden lighter fluid. You can buy this for about a quid. And because you've got a little ridge there, you can actually now it's just soaking under. The thing and what those stickers have been put on for it says promotional copy not for sale some people in the 60s and the early 70s thought it was illegal to sell these it's since been proved it's not illegal to sell them hmm oh dear I've done now somebody's already tried to lift this off at some time during its life and it's not used lighter fluid and and that's just slightly as you can see that this is you've got to be very gentle with this I'm just giving it some love with my finger now and there you go You've still got to be careful. I mean, I would go on there and rub it off, but don't because there's still some residue there and that still may be stuck to a piece of what's it. So I'm very gently just swamped it in that. That's come off pretty well, but I think somebody tried to take it off in a past life on that one. So what we're going to try and do is this one, which hasn't, uh, which hasn't been, if I just slide my fingernail along the top and you're sliding you're not picking trying to pick it off you're just sliding to make it sort of like a ridge then you just drop the lighter fluid onto the top ridge and that will start to penetrate underneath as you can see it was uh, going in there there you go you're trying it a little bit now I'm going to leave that alone and do nothing with it at all for a little while now then let's have a look at that that is one awfully warped record. And I don't think, I think I'm just going to throw the needle off a little bit, but uh, what we're going to try and do is get, get that back to being able to be played. Now getting it exactly flat, we can do that with storage warp records. This is decent vinyl, it's nice and uh, malleable. So let, let's see whether we can flatten that off for you today. There we go, there's an edge look. So quite a, quite a nasty walk. Okay, let's go then. What you need to de-warp a record are the two basic things that warped it in the first place. Pressure and heat. Heat will do it on its own, but sometimes slow heat and uh, a little bit of pressure as in stacking records on top of each other will warp it as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to apply these things to my magic machine. Heat first. We've got heat. Okay, what I'm doing now is uh, using 15 years 
I think it's 50 years, yeah, about 15 years now I've been doing this. Don't try this at home because. Uh... So, what I do is look at the warp and see which way it's more likely to come down than the other. I think that way, Arabia up. Then I put, put a little sealer on it, level it up, and there you are. The D warper is in position to go. Now what we do is add a little cold water because you don't want to be scorching the vinyl that's underneath. Yeah. Then we add the warm water. Then we add the weight. Then we add another weight and we're up and running. Okay, that is ready to slowly de warp that record. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to add some more water into there and get the heat building up, get the weight building up. I've got another couple of weights here to add. So, what we're doing, we're gradually adding weight and heat. The gas at the bottom has gone off obviously otherwise we'd have a, a cooked record and believe me I've cooked a few records. I'm not advising people to do this at home mainly because if you saw the amount of records I ruined until I got the technique right and the temperature right this is what I'm doing at the moment I'm feeling the temperature This is water addition number two and as you can see from that record it had writing we chose that record because it had writing all over it and uh, we certainly won't be able to say well look at this uh, Delco's Arabia it's all flat now and it'd be a different record we've chosen that one because it's got writing all over it and we can't fake that another, again that's the great thing about handwriting Last application, remembering that water adds weight as well and my last weight and the next weight is going to be about two hours to see where it works. So turn it to gas mark five. Is that anyone beat, still listening? Beat neck, beat, <laughs> is anybody still there? <laughs> okay so uh, We'll come back to you with the finished product.